Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I will show you how to create a flow that notifies the approver that there is a new document to approve. And this is going to be using the built-in approval in SharePoint, SharePoint Online in this case. And uh, I'm going to create a new flow. I'm going to be doing that as logged in as myself, Peter Kalmström. I'm also going to be using the account of Antonio Moreno, who's logged in in Firefox here. And as you see, I have a bunch of files here that have been created mostly by Antonio and most of them are approved and one is pending. So I want now for uh, me to get an email as soon as somebody uploads a new file or creates a new file in this document library. That will now totally solve the automation problems that this scenario entails, but it will uh, create an email thread of the approval and also it will get me notified, of course. So first of all, I'll switch over to Edge here where I'm logged in as myself. I'm gonna create a new flow, create a flow here. And I'll go to the see your flows at the bottom. And there I can create a new from a template and I'll use the SharePoint approval template. I'll search for that. Send an email when a new item is added. That's exactly the one I want. And that will send an email and it will also notify the person uh, that created the item that this item has been approved. It will not, however, update the actual document to set it to approve. There's no such action using the built-in approvals, but this will take you part of the way and there I'll show more complex approval scenarios using a custom approval column later but this uh, one will take you part of the way all right so we'll continue this is of course using the SharePoint and the office 365 email so first of all we need to make sure that we scroll up so that we can see this trigger uh, that starts the whole flow when a new item is created that is when we're going to start our flow so we're going to copy the URL to the site. There we go. And just copy that. And I'm not going to just paste that, but I'm going to click enter custom value first. And then I'm going to right click again and select paste. And sometimes I got it. Yeah, right. Then I'm um, sometimes I can actually select the list here, but I can't do that now. So I'll have to enter a custom value again and type in the procedures. And when I click down here, you'll see that I've actually got a connection here because I have some dynamic content. So I'm going to send the emails. They will go to the approver, which is always me. And then I'll go into the properties of this and just modify a bit. The approval request, I want that to show which file is being requested an approval for, so to speak. And I'm going to get the file name there. Could, of course, use the title also, but yeah, the file name is the more appropriate one. Show advanced. Here also here again, you have in the body, you have the title again. I'm going to replace that with a name again. That's always going to be filled out in a document library. This flow here is mostly intended for items in a list, but I'm showing it for a document library now. So that's why the name is more appropriate. This is the uh, trigger, of course, uh, when a new item is created. And then the first action is sending the approval email. Then nothing happens until the approver selects one of these user options, approve or reject. Once we have that uh, in that send email scope, then we have the selected option. That is which option the user selected, either approve or reject, of course. So that's going to be either true or not. So if this is true, then we'll send an email. And let's go in to check uh, the properties of that. We'll edit that. And we'll send that back to the person who created it, created the document. And again, it's using the title here. So let's replace that with the name of the file. And then the name of the file there also in the uh, body. And I'll just not do anything. You could, of course, send an email that your document was not approved. That would be prudent to do. But I'm not going to do that in this case. So I'm just going to create this flow now and 
we'll run a test to see how that works. Done. Now I'll go into Firefox and I'm here as Antonio Marino. I'm going to upload a file. And let's just do the employee file here. So that's uploaded. Excellent. So let's switch over to Edge. Switch over to my mailbox. And there's the approval request. You see it was sent just about now. And in this email body now, I can directly go ahead and approve. I can just click approve. And now that's approved. It's been registered. And back to Antonio's mailbox here. I get an email from me saying that it was improved. However, as I mentioned before, if I go back to the document library now, you see that this document, the employee file that I just uploaded, is still pending. So I will actually have to go in and manually approve it. So the benefit of using this flow is the email, the automation of the email. It does not automate the actual approval, so you'll have to do this twice. But there is an email thread of the approval which might be useful in some cases. I'll later show another demo where I'll have the whole thing automated. But this shows you uh, how that flow can be used. Thank you for watching this demonstration.